Hi everybody, it's your boy. At this point, we should come up with a better name for 1.19 because we've been talking about it so much. Ah, yes, Minecraft 1.19. If you're excited for 1.19 and you want to plan some strategy, or if you're in the 1.19 update and you can't find an ancient city, this is the video for you. In this one right here, I'm going to go over strategies to find every single major 1.19 feature. Which 1.19 feature is your favorite? Drop it down below. While you're headed down there, make a quick stop at the like button. Appreciate you. And let's go. Let's kick things off today with everybody's favorite biome vote winner, the LA, the majestic, the wonderful, the item collector itself. Looking to set up an item collection thing? Feeling a little bit lonely at your base? Well, the LA is the mob for you. To be honest, in the grand scheme of the update, finding an LA shouldn't be the hardest thing in the world. When it comes to locating the LA, you have a grand total of two options. Both of these options are going to be a structure. We're looking for either a woodland mansion or an outpost. Let's start with the outpost. Ah yes, the outpost. If you've been playing the game for more than a week and you haven't been stranded out of the ocean the entire time, there's a pretty good chance you've seen, like, at least two or three outposts. They're relatively common. The outposts will be able to generate in a massive handful of biomes, including the desert, the plains, the meadow, the grove, a bunch of mountain biomes, the savannah, the sunflower plains, and the list. It goes on and on and on. Of course, when there's a new update and there's things like new biomes and things inside of those biomes, there's going to be a lot of exploration. A common theme for today's video is exploration. You're going to have to go out into your world, whether it's new or old, and explore, explore, explore. If you have an old world, you're looking for an outpost that you've never been to before. If you previously loaded the outpost in, then unfortunately, it's off the tables. It's not going to be able to generate the structure that we need to generate with the outpost to actually be able to find the LA. Outpost number one, it's not old, but unfortunately, it's a miss. Next up, outpost number two, inside of a taiga, brand new and also, unfortunately, a miss. A common theme you're starting to see here. Last and also least for today's outpost, the third outpost that we're going to take a look at, unfortunately, also a miss. If you're lucky, not a single outpost, you'll find two LA. If you're like really lucky, you could find four. To be honest, when it comes to the LA, your best bet might not actually be the outpost though. You might be better off looking for a woodland mansion somewhere in your world. If you're completely clueless when it comes to Woodland Mansions, first things first, find a Cartographer Villager and trade with the Cartographer Villager. We're looking for a specific trade. To get this trade, we're going to need to level this guy up. Continue trading with your Cartographer friend until you reach the third level or the Journeyman level, and then you should see this trade right here, Woodland Explorer Map. Buy that map, then use the map to go find a Woodland Mansion. Once you've successfully located the Woodland Mansion, unfortunately, it's not a guarantee that you have Alley quite yet, but it's a lot better of a shot. If you listen closely, once you start to get near an LA, you should be able to hear it. Specifically, you're looking for this room, though. The room that looks like this is a jail. Inside of this room, we have cells, and inside of those cells, LA. LA, and even more LA. That's probably the best way. Well, we're flying around out here by the Woodland Mansion, so scenic, let's talk a little bit about Minecraft's newest cave biome, the Deep Dark Biome. Of course, the Deep Dark Biome is one of the biggest parts of the 1.19 update. If you're looking for the Deep Dark Biome, first things first, under the ground. Now, uh, second thing second, let's take a look at the land formation over here. I haven't looked under the ground quite yet, but looking at the land over here, I have a good hunch that the deep dark biome will be somewhere under the ground. Now, really quick, because we're in spectator, we can just slide under the ground and check that. Were my hunches right? Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Aha, they were. With night vision, we can see the deep dark biome. It's clearly sitting right down there, and it's sitting over there too. I was right. According to the Minecraft wiki, the Deep Dark is a biome that generates in an area with low erosion. Inside of this screen on Java Edition, we can look at this line right here and find our erosion value. Sure enough, this area has low erosion. A less statistical approach, though, would be the land formations. So the thing that gave it away for me right here is the mountainous area. This area has some pretty big hills. We can see a meadow biome right there. That's a really, really good sign for the Deep Dark biome. And then hills, hills, and even more big hills. Not very much water. Let's go back to the world spawn in this world. I haven't looked under world spawn in this world, but check this out. Over there, we have a big mountain. Over here, we have a big mountain. Let's go ahead and speed the process up this time. Night vision, spectator, go under the ground. I have a good suspicion that, again, we will be able to find a deep dark biome somewhere near here. Under the ground, load it in, check it out. And sure enough, look at that. Literally right below spawn, deep dark biome. Step one to locating the deep dark biome. It seems like looking in an area with big mountains would be a pretty safe call. Statistically speaking, look for an area with a low erosionist value. After you've located an area that you consider to be highly sus, look for a cave entrance and head in. Remember that bit that I said earlier on about exploring? Well, yeah, same thing, except this time, under the ground. 
From my experience, when it comes to looking for something specific in the game to make your life a little bit easier, maybe don't fully focus on that. Head down into the caves in an area that you think the deep dark might be, and cave. Look for all the ores, extract the resources, and then hopefully, eventually, once you get deep enough, you find the deep dark. Deepness is the other big thing with the deep dark biome. The deep dark biome will always begin to generate in the deep dark range. Now, that doesn't mean that you will never find it mixing with stone. It definitely can stretch up there, but you're going to have to be deep. If you're looking for the deep dark, I mean, look, the hint is literally in the name. Deep and dark. If for some reason you find yourself in the highly horrendous situation where you really suspect a deep dark biome to be in a certain area, but there's no cave entrances, well, then you could start to dig down. But of course, as you could probably imagine, digging straight down is really hit and miss. Maybe you hit something good, maybe you don't. Probably a better way to do this would be TNT mining. If you use TNT and just start to explode a hole through your world, hopefully eventually you end up hitting a cave and then you can just go into that cave. Using TNT to explode your way all the way down to the bottom of the world, it is going to be very, very expensive and I don't really recommend doing that. Try and just find a cave entrance and start there. Let's go back to the surface for a second. This wonderful, beautiful, mountainous area. This very, very nice looking, but when it comes to a mangrove swamp, it definitely doesn't look like a mangrove swamp. That's for sure. Will I be able to find a mangrove swamp somewhere over here as I fly around and load this in? Well, of course, maybe, but I would consider that to be highly unlikely. Of course, looking for a single specific biome, that could potentially be a difficult task. I mean, it's literally one biome out of however many are in the game, like over 50. Yeah, that could take some time. If you're looking for the mangrove swamp biome, first things first, maybe don't solely focus on locating the mangrove swamp biome. It'll make your life a whole lot easier. Instead, focus on exploring, fill in a map, and maybe loot structures, do things like that. Second things second, start looking in humid, warm areas. So this spot right here, we're by a plains biome, we're by a forest. I'm pretty sure a jungle is somewhere over there. Over there we have a swamp, and then of course, uh, obviously, more specifically, the mangrove swamp, the beauty, the wonder, there it is, right there. Minecraft 1.18 made world generation make a little bit more sense, meaning if you have a warm biome, it should hopefully generate next to another warm biome. Over here, we have a mangrove swamp biome surrounded by a swamp, a birch forest, a normal forest, and then over this way, we had a shattered savanna, and would you take a look at that, a jungle biome, right over there too. Out in the ocean, we have a warm ocean. All of these places are a little bit warmer. Take your time, explore your world, have a little bit of fun, but definitely, if you're looking for the mangrove swamp biome, start in an area that is a little bit more warm. All right, so I don't know about you, but when it comes to 1.19, one of the things that I am most excited about is definitely the Ancient City. The Ancient City is a massive underground structure that you'll be able to find in the game, hopefully. So the Ancient City, where do you find the Ancient City and how do you find this thing? Well, first things first, Deep Dark Biome. The Ancient City will always be in the Deep Dark Biome, so your first good call would probably be locating this biome. But unfortunately, that alone, it's not a surefire way. I mean, check this out. This is the deep dark biome that I found under world spawn inside of this world. Flying around for a little while in here is going to reveal that I'm not seeing anything big, gigantic, and wonderful looking. No warden statue or anything like that. Just the deep. And it's dark. So, science time. Let's try something out. Over this way, in this world, I remember there were a couple mountains. If I fly over this way, this is going to be a little bit better of a call. So, the deep dark, or specifically the ancient city, it typically generates under mountains. If you have a big mountain somewhere, that's a good call. But, not just any mountain. We're looking for a mountain in a relatively dry area. So, that might end up being our problem over here. I am seeing a little bit of water over there, but it looks like that's more so just a river. If you're near an ocean, definitely not, or at least most likely not. Maybe don't try that one, but like this mountain over here. This is a pretty tall mountain. We're standing on 117, and like I said, no big ocean immediately next to it. So, let's slide under the ground and check this out. Any ancient city over here. Initially, maybe not. More deep dark, though. Ah, but you see what I see over there. So, other big mountain over there with a village on it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And under that mountain, it worked. Ancient city. Underneath the big mountain. All right, so it worked. In this instance, right underneath this grove biome right here, we have an ancient city. The ancient city is all the way at the bottom of the world. Ancient cities will always generate on Y-52. Like, that's the base layer of the ancient city. So if you think about it, that does definitely mean that technically you could start branch mining deep down in your world, like anywhere near that range, and hopefully, eventually, if you're near the deep dark biome, maybe you break your way into the ancient city, and if it works out like that, absolutely amazing. But I do not recommend doing them. Even though the structure is absolutely massive, look at how massive your world is. It's definitely slightly more massive, at least. 
For the ancient city, Mojang decided to not build a quick and easy way to locate this thing into the game. That means, or at least I think it means, they want you to explore. The best way to find an ancient city is definitely caving in an area with the deep dark biome, or even better, caving in a mountainous area that you highly suspect the ancient city and the deep dark biome to be. The cool thing is, with the ancient city, if somehow you are able to find this thing before you find the deep dark biome, then everything inside of the deep dark biome I mean, it's here. You'll be able to head into the ancient city and find every single thing in the deep dark biome here. Unfortunately, there is no revolutionary life hack that works flawlessly every single time for locating the ancient city, but there are a couple different things you can do. Because the ancient city is absurdly massive, if there are caves in the area around the ancient city, it's a pretty good bet to say that these caves are going to be open to the ancient city at some point, like this one right here. So unfortunately, or fortunately, if you like caving and exploring, your best bet when it comes to locating the ancient city is just caving in an area with the deep dark biome. If you locate the deep dark biome first, great, that's amazing, and keep caving out those caves. If you can't find the deep dark biome, then try and find an area under a mountain, and, and definitely, absolutely, don't let that happen. <laughs> no thank you, no thank you, I've had enough for the day. Okay, actually, let's go back, because the next thing on our list today is the Skulk Blocks. The Skulk Shrieker, the Skulk Catalyst, the Skulk Blocks down there, the Skulk Sensor. How do you find those things? Well, this is pretty simple. The Deep Dark or the Ancient City. That's where you're going to be able to find all of these things generating. Once you find these things, so touch them, especially a Catalyst, and take them back home. If you bring a Catalyst back home, you'll be able to actually grow every single other type of Skulk Block. It's pretty cool. If for some reason you've located the Angel City without a single Silk Touch tool though, good news. You can actually find some of the Silk Blocks inside of the loot chests, inside of the city. But, but wait, wait there's, there's more. more. There is Frog. The frog, or frogs, are sweet, sweet friends. If you're looking for frogs in 1.19, the swamp, either of them, is entirely where it's at. In an older world, not a problem, find one of these grandpas, the classic swamp, and you should be able to find frogs inside of this thing. You might have to give it a little bit of time for them to actually spawn, but they'll be able to spawn here. Luckily for us, the frogs that spawn in this biome, they stand out, like big time. I mean, look at that frog over there, it's orange, you can never miss that thing, not from a mile away. So that makes it easy. And then Mangrove Swamp, you remember when I was talking about that thing just a second ago? Well, locate the Mangrove Swamp biome, and of course, you'll be able to have propagules and all that wonderful stuff like that, but the frog you'll be able to find the warm frog inside of the mangrove swamp biome. The green frog is the rarest frog in the entire game. It does not spawn anywhere. You will have to raise this one from childbirth. Let's go back to the ancient city for a second because there are lots of other 1.19 things inside of the ancient city. A lot of the 1.19 stuff is custom ancient city loot. Inside of this chest, we have... Nothing custom. That's a nice hoe though. The Ancient City is simply the place to go if you're looking for Disc Fragments, the Echo Shard, or the Swift Sneak and Gem. You're probably going to want to be geared up before you do this. <laughs> oh, that's not good. If you're looking for any of those wonderful 1.19 things, then head over to the city and start looting the chests inside of the buildings. With enough patience, persistence, eventually you'll be able to start finding the custom things. Disc Fragment, there it is right there. The Ancient City has a lot of different moving, working pieces to it. The pieces that you're looking for are basically like the building pieces, uh, things like this right here, another disc fragment, that's not too bad. But of course, the Warden is protecting all of this stuff, and more than one Warden can summon in at the same time, so that's absolutely wonderful. You really, really should gear up and maybe, you know, just try and not make a lot of noise, uh, because it could be difficult to find this stuff. When it comes to Ancient City strategy, avoiding the Warden, you are, um, completely on your own. That is not for today. Not for this video. But one thing that I will say is you're looking for structures that kind of look like this. The chest will never be inside of the walls. You're looking for the structures that are between the walls. There is one structure that will never have any of the custom loot. It is this thing right here, the ice box. The ice box always has food, which is pretty nice, but nothing like a disc fragment or an enchantment. Hang around inside of the ancient city for a while, loot the chests, and hopefully eventually you'll be able to find all of the custom ancient city loot that you could ever want and more. Propagule, propagule. If you can't find the mangrove swamp biome, you do have another option. The wandering trader, but it's a despicable move. You will be way better off ethically, morally, and financially if you just find the mangrove swamp biome. It's not that hard. And then pretty much finally, for the things we're going to talk about today, in this one right here, let's talk a little bit about the goat really quick. 
Inside of 1.19, we have goat horns. Goat horns are a brand new instrument. It's pretty cool. If you want a goat horn, you're going to have to have a goat ram something, or you're going to have to find the goat horn at an outpost to see the alley section for outposts. If you'd like to go the manual route, though, and just naturally find a goat and try and get the goat to smash its head into something, then you're going to look for one of three biomes, or maybe even all three. The Frozen Peaks biome, the Jagged Peaks biome, or the Snowy Slopes biome. Those are the three biomes where goats can spawn in this game. Find one of those biomes, and you should hopefully be able to find some goats there. Then take those goats and have them smash their head into something, and hopefully you get the goat horn that you've always wanted. And always remember, the best goat horn in the entire world, it is called... I mean, obviously, how can you not love it? And so, there you go. There's your complete guide to locating every single new thing, or at least the major big ones, in the 1.19 update. Now, the update isn't out quite yet, sure, but the features, they won't change by the update release. Mark my words. If you aren't subscribed, now is the perfect time to do that. Once 1.19 actually drops, I have even more cool content, including a guide to everything. Like every detail, big and small, in the entire update. Also, survival, it's gonna be big. If you haven't left a like yet, consider doing that, please and thank you. All of my links are in the description and on the end card. Well, on the end card is another video for you. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been me, your boy. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.